Hello. I'm Mr. Red. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. <laughs> Goodness, you're back, Linda. This office has been a madhouse. Here, let me do that for you. Oh, thank you. A woman came in with a Mexican hairless. Wanted to know if I gave scalp treatments. You're kidding. And right after that, a man came in with a nearsighted cat. Oh, no. How did he know his cat was nearsighted? He said it kept stepping into mouse traps. What did he expect you to do for his cat? Then it with glasses? You're close. Contact lenses. That still doesn't explain what happened to your hand. Well, the nearsighted cat started chasing the Mexican hairless. And then the woman who owned the dog began chasing the man who owned the cat. And when I tried to break it up, I got bitten. By the dog? No, by the woman. <laughs> I tell you, Linda, I've had every kook in the valley in here today. Well, you can relax, doctor. The man waiting outside looks very normal. Well, thank goodness for that. Send him in, please. Will you come in, please? Thank you, nurse. Uh, hello, doctor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. My name is Wilbur Post. I'd like you to take a look at my horse. Fine, fine. What seems to be the trouble? Well, well, before we go outside, I'd like to talk to you alone. You want the nurse to leave? Oh, no, no, no. She can stay. I, I just don't want to talk in front of my horse. <laughs> uh, why, Mr. Post, why can't we talk in front of your horse? Well, you see... He knows when people are talking about him. As a matter of fact, uh, my neighbor said something about him, and, and, and I said something about him. Neither of us meant anything by it, and, and there wasn't a word of truth in it. But, um, doctor, do you know a jackass when you see one? Yes, Mr. Post, I deal with him practically every day. Good, good. 